today's topic is one of the most exciting biblical truths you will ever think about. Our topic is Revelation's mysterious 1,000 years and sealed. Mysterious 1,000 years. Let me tell you this book called the Bible. This is the most amazing book in the whole world. If it is in the Bible, even if it may not sound like I like it, you better like it. Because it is truth. It is truth. And if anything disagrees with the Bible, <laughs> it is not for me and it should not be for you. Hallelujah. 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 And so we are talking about the millennium. The 1,000 years. We will be living in eternity. That is what the Bible wants to talk to us tonight. Jesus, our Savior and Jesus, our Lord, describes this incredible event in this world. Jesus said, listen, John 5, verse 28 and 29. Do not, do not marvel at this. For the hour is coming. The hour is coming. In which all who are in the graves. It is Jesus Christ our Lord who is saying. The hour is coming. In which all who are in the graves. Hey, my father is in the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there are many people here with their people in the graves. I used to think when my father went into the grave, that was the end. But Jesus is telling me, Ruguri, my son, Ruguri, the hour is coming in which your father will hear my voice and he will come forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who have done good, they will come out to the, to the resurrection of life. And those who have done evil, they will come out, but they will come out to the resurrection of condemnation. Oh, I don't like that one. And I don't think you like it. And I don't think we should like it. I want to come out. I want to, my father to come. I want my beloved one to come out of their grave towards the resurrection of life. So how many resurrections are there in the Bible? This is one of those questions people ask. There are some people who don't even believe that there will be any resurrection at all. But don't pay attention to those ones. And if there are those who say there will be four or five, those, those ones don't listen to them. The Bible talks about two resurrections. What are they called? The resurrection of life and the resurrection of damnation. Now the Bible does not tell us exactly when they will take place. And I don't want to teach you anything that the Bible has not made clear. So listen carefully. But it does tell us that there are two 
Nuko hari imizuko ibiri. Resurrections. Imizuko ibiri. There are two resurrections. Imizuko ibiri. Now you need to follow me very carefully. Nkurikira witonze. So that you don't mix one for the other. Kugira ngo utaza kuvanga vanga ibiri. There is a good reason why God is revealing these things to the people who listen to him. Hari impamvu imana ishaka guhishurira ukukuri abateza amatwi muri aka kanya. The resurrection of life or the resurrection of damnation. Umuzuko w'ubugingo buhoraho cyangwa umuzuko kurimbuka. The two kinds of resurrection. Hari ukuzuka kubyo bubiri. Now the first resurrection kuzuka kwa mbere is the resurrection of life. No kuzukira ubugingo buhoraho. People confuse these things. Abantu baravanga ibi bintu. Now listen the first resurrection umuzuko wa mbere is the resurrection of life numuzuko w'ubugingo buhoraho jesus christ comes yesu azabagarutse and listen carefully tega matwi we are always talking about the second coming of our lord turavuga cyane kukugaruka kwa yesu so when jesus christ comes igiye yesu azabagarutse what will happen haza bizagenda bite those who were sleeping abasinziriye men and women abagore nabagabo will awake bazakanguka hallelujah hallelujah awake this time never to go to sleep again bakanguke ubutazongera gusinzira hey hallelujah hallelujah let me tell you something. Reka mbabwire iki ngiki. I will not allow any sleep to touch me again. Nje sinzongera kwemera gusinzira. I am saying that as if I have the power to do it but I know my Lord will do it for me. Ndayo abwire nkaho mbifitiye imbaraga ari ku mwami wanje azabikora. How many people would like to wake up and never to sleep again? Ibangaye bavuga bati tuzakanguka twekongera gusinzira. Thank you. Thank you God. Murakoze cyane bana b'Imana. We will wake this time to see Oho nidukanguka icyo tuzabona Pray for me pastor Mahati Nsengera pastor We will wake up this time to see the face of Christ Tuzakanguka tujiye kureba mu maso ha Yesu There is no face like the face of our Lord Jesus Christ Mu maso heza habaho nko mu maso ha Yesu There is no greater blessing than seeing Mugisha wa rutuo kubona Yesu they awake to see the glory of God bazakanguka babona ikuzo ry'umwami wacu you will see something called glory of God uzabona ikitwa ikuzo ry'Imana i read about it but i don't know how it looks like bisoma muri bibiliya sinzi uko bimeze i want to see it ndashaka kubibona god's glory ubwiza bw'Imana the salon the salonians 4 verse 16 says listen listen to this this is the scripture now itself it says for the lord himself will descend descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of god and the dead abapfiriye muri Kristo now which dead which dead abapfiriye muri Kristo nabahe the dead abapfuye the dead in Christ abapfiriye muri Kristo pray for me now munsengere those who died in Christ abapfiriye muri Kristo now let me tell you you have to know ukwiriye kumenya how you die ukupfa uje ubyita umenye ngo nzapfane don't die just carelessly like that. Wekujupfa utabyita eho, jupfa wabiteguye. You know, even Jesus himself showed us showed us how to die. Yesu yatweretse uko dukwiriye gupfa tukabyitaho. You know when he was hanging on the cross. Muri bukabambwe ku musaraba. And he felt that he was about to die. Akamenya ko agiye gupfa. The Bible says He raised his voice to the Father. And he said, Father, Father, data. I lay my life in your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't die in anyone else's hands. The best place to die is in the hands. Oh, you people, you are not here. You people, you have a problem. 
Don't die in the hands of your pastor. Don't die in the hands of your, 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 your mother, your father, your brother, your cousin. <laughs> the best place to die. And the best way to die is to die in the hands of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, I wish I was taller than this. What can I do now? The Bible says Bibiria vuga ngo those who died in Christ abapfiriye muri Kristo and that's why we have brought you to these meetings yo mpamvu twaje muri aya matera before you die mbere yuko pfa before i die mbere yuko mfa so that we can teach one another how and where to die kugira ngo tujye twigishanya uko twapfa naho twapfira Even if you are in a hospital bed. Nubwo waburi kugitanda mu bitaro. Tell your bed in the hospital. Ujubwira igitanda cyawe mu bitaro. I am about to die. Ngiye gupfa. But I'm not dying on you. Sinzapfira kuri wowe. Nzapfira mu biganza. In Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am going to die. Nzapfira mu biganza. In the hands of my Savior. Byumwami wanje. Si kuri wowe wagitanda. Because he's the only one who has the power. Kuko niwe wenyine ufite ububasha. To bring us up. When that day shall come. If I stopped here, will you say I have not preached? <laughs> but then anyway, let's 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 continue. There are still, there are still good, better things to come. So the Bible says, and the day in Christ. We will rise fast. Huh? We are the uh, I think this time I even want to die so that I can, I can because, uh, let me tell you I want to be in that number. Huh? That is not a bad group to be. Those who will rise fast before other people have seen his face, I have seen it. But I want to mass so high as soon have an ahavon. That's why Apostle Paul said, In whom a power who could be to live is Christ. Kubaho ni Yesu. And to die is gain. Gupfa ni nyungu. For a believer, kumizera, dying or living is the same. Kubaho no gupfa virangana. Ni chimwe. Amen. Amen. So when you and I close our eyes in the sleep of death in Christ, you will stay there. You will stay there. You will stay there. But the next thing you will meet is the coming of Jesus. When you will rise up, the next thing you will see after you die this time is not your wife, not your children, not your father. Jesus. 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 He will be there. Azabara honga ho. He will ask you a question. Akubazi chivazo. What have you been doing down there? Umazimisi ukori chihari. I am here. Ndihano. Let's go. Tujende. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when we die in faith, kukuyo dufuye tukize. Our lives are hid with God. Uzimabga chububabu hishkwe mumana. Jesus marks the grave of those who who die in him. Yesa shiriki menye tsukumva zaba pfawa mngizeye. And the Bible continues with this one. Viviriga kome zanaya magambo. Says in 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17. Murwa nikor gwa ambergwa wa Thessalonichi gicha chaka numurongu wa chumi na kari inwi. Says then we who are alive. Nuko natu kwa basa wa wakiriho. Aha, this is this other group. Iryo ni irindi tinda. Who will be found alive when Jesus comes. 
I don't know which group is better than the other now. Ntago namenya none hitsinda riri rutirindi kuba ryiza. I don't mind which one I will be in. Yahaho iryo naba mu ryose ryanezeza. The Bible says. Ariko bibiri iravuga ngo. Then we who are alive and remain nuko natwe bazaba bakiriho kugeza icyo gihe shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Tuzazamurirwa hamwe nabo bandi tuzamuke gusanganira umwami mu kirere. I'm not sure I'm not sure what exactly this means. Ntabwo nzi neza icyo bisobanuye. Because those who will be dead abazaba barapfuye in Christ. Muri Kristo. They will rise. Bazazuka. And they will see the face. Babone mu maso ha Yesu. Now those of us who will be still alive. Twebwe abazaba bakiriho. It looks like we will be overtaken by those who are Birashoboka ko bapfuye bazadutanga kuzamuka. It looks like those are the ones who will proceed abo nibo bazabanza niko bigaragara in the hair mu kirere to meet their savior gusanganira umucungu zwa then we who are still alive nuko twebwe bazaba bakiriho but alive also in christ ariko turi bazima muri kristo not, not, not just being alive eh ntabwo ari ugupfa ku muri muzima gusa there is a difference between those who are alive in christ haraitandukaniro rya bazaba bariho muri kristo and those who are just living their lives on this earth without a purpose na bazaba bariho kuri yisi batagira umugambi and without accepting Christ Batareme Jesus Christo. as their savior nk'umucunguzi wabo but anyway whichever will be ariko rero uko byamera kose these two groups are doing fine aya matsinda biri maze kubona yo nimeza so those who will be still alive abasaba ari bazima we will join those who will have resurrected tuzasanganira abamaze kuzuka in Christ muri Kristo Yesu and we will join up together in tuzamukire hamwe mu kirere look up you people look up i want to Juru, kumese, turarama, Look tuka, up here. You know this place up here. None of you has been there. But that day, we will not drive on the road. Not even sail on Lake Kivu. I will find you up there. And I will greet you up there. And I will hug oh I will hug you up there. <laughs> Now you may ask me Pastor Ruguri. Ushobora kumbaza uti Pastor Ruguri. How shall we make it up here? Tuzabikora dute turi mu kirere. And I we have no wings. Nta mababa dufite. There is no engine in me like the airplane. Nta motor dufite nk'iyi ndege. Let me tell you that will be the mystery of God. Mbabwire icyo ni igitangaza cy'Imana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am talking about you. Ni wowe mvuga. I am talking about myself. Ndavuga nje ubwanje. Traveling up there. Dute mi chirere. Up there. Hari ya mchirere. And our Lord Jesus. Umami wa chuyesu. Will be with us up there and going home. Ajanye natuke aduchu imuhira. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a glorious resurrection. Hari umuzu kowichu wa hiro. That will occur. Uzawa ho. And with those who are ready to meet him. Hamge na waza wabite guwe gusanga ni rungami. As we have said they were sent to meet Jesus Christ in the air. Nkuko twabivuze bazamuke basanganire Yesu mu kirere. And then the summary of the whole matter says. Noneho impine yaya magambo yose ikagira iti. And thus we shall always be with our Lord. Nuko tuzabana n'umwami wacu ibihe bidashira. Unless you want to stay here God's plan is that we will be with our Lord forever. Umugambi w'Imana nuko tuzabana n'umwami wacu ibihe bidashira. So like we have said, nuko twabivuze. When Jesus Christ comes, igihe Yesu Kristo azabagarutse, there will be two classes of people. Hazabaho amatsinda abiri y'abantu. The saved and the lost. Abakizwa n'abarimbuka. Those in the first resurrection, abazaba bazutse mu muzuko wa mbere, and those destroyed by the brightness of his coming. Nabazicwa ni kuzo ni cyubahiro cy'Imana. So you see there is no no second chance here murabona rero ko nta mahirwe ya kabiri when jesus comes yesu nagaruka when jesus comes yesu nagaruka 
there will be no second chance. Our chance is now. While you are sitting down there, you are making or you are processing your decision for the things that are coming. If you miss this opportunity, and if you think that, oh no, I will tell Jesus to take me anyway when he comes. My sister, my brother, be, the Bible does not suggest a chance at that time. This is the time. This is the time. God brought you there to listen to these messages so you can make one of the most important decisions for your eternal life. That's why the Bible says in Revelation 20 verse 6 Blessed Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. Make sure you do not miss the opportunity of being one of those who will enjoy the first resurrection. If you will have died, you must come up during the first resurrection. And if you are still alive, and let me tell you, it is possible for Jesus to come when we are still alive. The signs of the times are so clear according to the Bible that truly I don't think there is anything left which needed to happen before we can see our Lord return. Hallelujah. 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 So blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. So think of what it is going to be like. A little child which died at five or at four or five is resurrected from a grassy tomb. Think of the incredible joy our mom will have when she holds her he in our uh, arms again. Think again of how it will look like my brother, my sister. When fathers and mothers with their saved children will be caught up, up here to meet Jesus in the air. Have you lost somebody in death? That day will be the best moment of all of us joining again. The resurrection of the righteous believers will be a joyous reunion. I repeat. There are two groups when Jesus comes. The first group is resurrected to live with Christ forever. The living righteous believers are going to be changed. Listen to that. If you will be alive, you are not going to go to heaven the way you are. <laughs> Listen. God is going to do something on us. He is going to change our bodies. From being the mortal bodies to immortal. Oh, oh. Brother. Yes. From mortality to immortality. A divine jacket. We are not going to go to heaven with this body. God will give us a new body. That cannot die. That cannot get sick. Huh? Huh? So Dr. Fesa. Dr. Fesa. 
all your bacteria will have no job from that time za microbes zose mwigisha nta kazi zizongera kugira all bacteria and viruses will have lost their job virusi indwara zizabura kazi if they touch me they Nizi, are the ones who will die ni, not me indwara ni inkoraho izapfa nje mbeho hallelujah hallelujah man. Yes if the yes. if you drink poison the poison will become water and you continue living Nungu burozi buhinduke nk'amazi meza wikomereza urugendo The Bible says Bibiliya iravuga ngo God will change these bodies and give us glorious immortal bodies Man is a hindura imibiri yacu idihu imibiri dapfa never subject to disease or death imibiri dashobora guhangarwa n'uburwayi cyangwa urupfu And let me tell you if there is anybody here who looks old ndeka mbabwire niba hano hari umusaza that look of age will disappear gusaza bizahunga Even a guy like me who Numu, is shorter than Numu, I would have wished to be. Umuntu mugufi umeze nkanje sinigeze mbyifuza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That day, uwo musi God may do a miracle for me. Imani ishobora kunkorera igitangaza. And I might end up being 10 feet tall. Kagira meter 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm talking about a good God. Ndimo kubabwira Imana nziza. Who loves us like he loves everything. Imani dukunda. We are his children. Turabana b'Imana. Yeah. And of course now there is a, this other group. Ariko hari nindi tsinda. Revelation describes an event that is filled with the sadness and not joy. Daishwe bitubwira igihe cy'umuborogo nagahinda. My brother my sister I pray that you will not belong to this group. Bene data bashiki banje ntukabe muri iri tsinda. It describes a second group of people riravuga itsinda rya kabiri ry'abantu who are not joyously waiting for the return of Jesus Christ. Na abantu batishimiye gutegereza Yesu ugiye kugaruka. They are not awaiting the resurrection of their loved ones. Ni bategereje kuzuka kwa babo bakunda. Now listen When they see Christ coming in the clouds of glory, notice their reaction. Now listen what the book, of, the, the book of Revelation says. This is chapter 6 verse 15 through 17. These are people who are not believers in Christ. Those are the people who come to meetings like this. But, 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 but they don't make decision to accept Christ. Those who will remain by themselves. Believing other things but not Christ. When they will see Christ. The Bible says. The kings of the earth. The great men the rich men the commanders the mighty men slaves and free men will hide themselves in the caves and in the rocks and they will say to the mountains and rocks on us and hide us from the face of him who is sitting now on his throne and from the wrath of the lamb that is how they will react because they will have known kuko bazaba bamenye ko that they lost the chances bamaze kutakaza amahirwe yose it is the day of god's wrath no no munsi w'umujinya w'Imana and they will ask one question bazaba zikibazongo who can stand this ninde wahagarara datsinzwe how can we stand this twahagarara dute tudatsinzwe you know whenever i read that sentence iyo nsomye uyu murongo i am forced to think bihitabinzamo kungufu ngatekereza and also i am forced to imagine nkibaza kandi ngatekereza ko the hard heartedness i see in people today uku kwikanyiza ku mitima mbona mu bantu uyu munsi how people walk arrogant abantu ko bayiyemera bagenda driving their heavy cars bakagenda batwaye bya bimodoka biremereye living in their 
prestigious homes with no time to waste to attend meetings like this. Because they don't think anything can affect them. But that day, the Bible says, they will ask mountains to fall on them. They will ask one question. How can we stand? The power of this man coming in clumps. So my question is, where has their boldness gone? I hope none of us in this meeting will belong to that group. The first class, look up and say, This is our God. Hallelujah. 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 This is our God. We, we have waited for Him. And He has come to save us. Hey! 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 You can tell they are excited about the coming <laughs> of Jesus. This second class of people who have rejected the message of hope. They will look up and their hearts will be filled with fear. Full of guilt. And there is nothing in this life which is as dangerous as guilt. Guilt, guilt makes you run even when nobody is chasing you. And you have seen that they are crying to the rocks to fall. On what a shame. What a tragedy. This Christ who wants to save them cannot save those who turn their backs on him. My friends, in as much as our God is loving, and we will always want to save each one of us. If you turn away from a message of hope like the one we have brought to you, I am sorry it cannot force you into salvation. This Christ who they ran from wants to take them to a new world where there is no sickness sickness, sorrow, or death. But they have always run away from him. Even as I'm preaching, some of them are saying, Pastor Uguru, you are wasting your time. I'm not going to listen. What can he do? What can he do? And our God does not want to force any one of us into something that we have not chosen. So when we turn our backs on him, if you don't allow Jesus to be king in your life, I can tell you, my brother, my sister, even, even when he comes, you will not want him to be the king of the universe. It begins with my heart and with your heart. If I don't make him king of my life, I will never feel comfortable with him becoming the king of the universe. The question I want to ask you is this. What does it mean to accept Jesus as king? It means to invite him to rule on the throne of your heart. It means saying, Lord, I am not running my own life. 
Biravuga ngo mana sinshaka kwirwariza mu buzima bwanje. I need to allow you to run my life according to the principles of righteousness. Ndashaka ko ari wowe utwara ubugingo bwanje bigendeye ku mahame yagakiza kawe. You have to remove yourself from the throne of your heart. Maze wowe ugasigaho gukomeza kuba umwami w'umutima wawe. And allow Christ Jesus Christ himself to sit on the throne of your heart. Ukemerera Yesu kamwimika mu mutima wawe. Hallelujah. 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 Tonight, Jesus Yesu invites you to make him your Lord. Inviting you to make him your savior. And your king. No one, no one, and I say my brothers, my sisters, no one needs to be found and prepared when Jesus comes. Can you imagine what the Lord has done? All these preachers from all over the world coming to Rwanda alone. Our people from Kenya from Ethiopia from South Sudan from America inter-America America, oh, and many other countries. They are preaching in different sites There can never be a time of greater blessing for Rwanda than this. And you remember these meetings. Kandi ayamatera ni romuza komeza kuyibuka. We can choose to let him be our savior. To let his love fill our hearts. So that when he comes again. He comes to redeem us. And he comes to take us from this earth. You know some of you think. If he does not take you to heaven, you will continue living here. But give me time, I will show you what is going to happen on this earth. There is no one who can remain on this earth. This earth does not belong to you. It belongs to someone who created it. Hallelujah. 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 So you cannot stay in someone's house when he doesn't want you to stay there. That's why as we look around we do not need to have our hearts troubled. The second coming of Christ is the great hope for all believers. It takes away all doubt and fear regarding the future. That's why Jesus said, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it were not so, I would have told you. So I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again. So this coming of Jesus is according to his promise. I'll come back again and receive you to myself so that where I am there you may be also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you have a place up there. God said he went to prepare a house Pastor, my house is ready. Up there. Hariya. A serious house. But if I don't prepare, it might remain empty. You better believe that if he came to this earth once, he will come back again. He knows the way. He has been here already. And I can assure you he is coming back. My Jesus does not lie. But this time, 
Ariko ubugo noneho he is not coming as a child. Ntabwo azaza nk'uruhinja. Born of a virgin woman. Ngo avukire mu mugore w'isugi. He is not coming back as a baby in Bethlehem's manger. Nazongera kuburuhinja i Bethlehem mu muvure. This time ubugo noneho he is not coming to die on a cross. Nazongera kuza ngo apfire ku musaraba. He is coming sitting on a throne. Ahubwa azaba yicaye ku ntebe y'ubwami. Hallelujah. 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 Christ is coming again in the clouds of heaven. Yesu aragarutse mu bicu by'ijuru. He is coming as a conquering general. Agarutse nk'umugaba w'ingabo wanesheje. And this question which we have always asked will be answered. Ibibazo byose twabajije bizabonerwa ibisubizo. Many people have been asking this question what is going to happen this this world is rotten this Abantu world is bati sirashaje uh -huh. yuzuye ibibi bizagenda bite? What is going to happen? Listen, just, just give me a few minutes. When it comes, all the wrongs that have been done in this world, and the evil that has ruled the day in this world, will be, listen to me now, will, will be completely put to an end. All of it. There will be no more evil. Now let me run you through quickly the events at this coming. Follow with me. The events of this coming. Number one, believers will be resurrected. Believers will receive immortality. Wicked Living will be consumed. And there will be a time when there will be no one alive on earth. All the wicked will have been consumed. There will be no one left. All wicked will be consumed. With the brightness of I mean, it will just show up. And all the wicked will be destroyed by the brightness of Christ's face. And what will, what, when they die, where will they go? Because the good ones have gone. The Bible says they will remain in their graves here. And even those who have died a long time ago but they did not die in Christ. They will remain there. They will not resurrect. So they will be joined by those who will be destroyed by his coming. And I can tell you it will be a great multitude. Believers ascend to heaven with Christ. But the question is what happens next? Does the Bible tell us what events follow? This second coming what will be the condition of the earth when believers are caught up to meet Christ in the air? Of course, I have already answered the question that nobody will remain alive here. So you cannot say that if you are not taken to heaven, you will continue living your life here. <laughs> that second coming will be the one thing that will destroy all sinners who have refused to surrender their lives to the Lord. What happens to Satan? Because all of us know something that Satan is so active here on this earth. He is the one who is poisoning and bewitching all people who do not want to accept Christ. 
The question is, what would happen to him? Is he destroyed? Or is he left on earth? When does God make the earth new? What did Jesus mean? When he said, he was going to create new heavens and a new earth, According to Second Peter, chapter three. What did Jesus mean when he said the meek shall inherit the earth? When will that happen? Oh, I tell you, God has left nothing. And, and These questions have good answers. And let's just explore them briefly. From the book of Revelation. Is anyone alive on earth when, during these 1,000 years? What will characterize the life on earth during this period of 1,000 years? In Revelation 19, we find a description of Christ coming as King of Kings to have on Lord of Lords. A returning victor conquering all the forces of evil. And, and now listen to what Revelation chapter 20 verse 1 and 2 says about what will happen next. Now, I like this one. I like this one. You must like this Listen to this. Then I saw a great white horse. I saw an angel. Come to the Coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. Kandi yarafite umunyururu mu biganza bye. It's like he's about to tie someone. Aya yari yiteguye nkugiye kuboha umuntu. But listen. Tega matwi. <laughs> you people who don't know what will happen to the devil. Listen to what the Bible says. You, are, you have already seen the angel who has a key and he has a chain and he laid hold of the dragon. Pastor Ezron, the devil is in trouble. <laughs> hey! Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I like this angel. I like this angel. This angel is the kind of angel we need. Because you and I. Do not have an answer in dealing with the devil. The Bible calls him a dragon. A dragon is a dangerous creature. None of us here has power. Or know how to deal with the dragon. But there is an angel. But we need this angel. Who has the ability to lay hold on this dragon. That serpent of old. Who is the devil? And Satan. 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 <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> Satan. That shows you this guy is not good. He, he has many names here. Dragon. Serpent of all. Devil. Satan. Satan. <laughs> but even with all those names. This angel. I wish I can know the name of this angel. When I go to heaven. I will ask Jesus. To introduce me to this guy. He is a good angel. So what will he do? He bounds the devil. With that chain, for, and puts him in prison for one thousand years. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, 
some of you can't even bamwe nta nubwo mujumba nta nubwo bibashimishije if you cannot celebrate that one ni budashaka kwishimira ibingi i will ask that angel to imprison you with that set ndabwira uyu maraika nti dore nuyu nawe mubohere hamwe nacyo so so that you can enjoy him there kugira ngo niba ushaka kubabarana nacyo mujyane you either enjoy the angel or enjoy satan ukwe guhitamo maraika cyangwa guhitamo satan he will bind him for a thousand years. Maze maraika kiboha imyaka igihumbi. How long does the Bible say? Bibiliya ivuga iki? Satan is bound. Satan azabohwa imyaka ingahe? A thousand years. Imyaka igihumbi. That is where the word millennium comes from. Aho ni wijambo ikinya gihumbi rikomoka. Millennium means a thousand. Iki ikinya gihumbi biravuga imyaka igihumbi. Yes. Imyaka igihumbi. Mili is a thousand. Igihumbi, igihumbi. Anum is year. Naho anum ni imyaka. It's a Latin word. Ni jambo rikomoka mu kiratini. Let me let me move on a little more. Reka ngerageze kwihuta gatoya. Then the Bible says Nuko biri kavuga iti Satan will be cast in the bottomless pit. Satani ajugunwa mu rwobo rutagira iherezo. <laughs> bottomless pit urwo burutagira iherezo and what is the meaning of bottomless pit none se uyu mwo butagira iherezo nuwuhe and uh, some bible students wonder whether this is a subterranean uh, subter uh, how do you pronounce that sir subterranean subterranean abantu bamwe kwisi bakibaza bati ahari ni kure cyane mu kuzimu but the new testament word written in the greek language ariko iri jambo ryo mwisezerano rishya ryanditswe mu rurimi rw'ikigiriki which represents the word bottomless is abusos rivuga riri ya jambo urwo burutagira iherezo nka abusos in english and i don't know in french mu cyongereza ntabwo nzi byari byo mu gifaransa the word is abyss in french it's abime mugifura ah, ah. mucyongereza ni abisi urwo rutagira iherezo ehe abime 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 eh abime <laughs> french 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 is a stuff france ni kirakomeye <laughs> and an abyss means no no rero urwo rutagira iherezo place of darkness ikuzimu havugwa ahantu hari umwijima mwinshi it doesn't have to be a pit ntabwo gikwiriye ya byanze bikunze kuba ari cyo as, as we know it ngo kibi cyo nkuko tubitekereza but it means a place full of darkness of ariko havuga hantu hugarijwe ha, 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 habuditse umwijima mwinshi if you have read your bible you know that in the book of genesis iyo arabisomye mu gitabo cyitangiriro genesis 1 verse 2 it says itangiriro gice cy'ambere umurongo wa kabiri havuga ngo the earth was without form and void isi yari itagira ishusho yari ho busabusa gusa that was abyss Aho rero ni hari hameze nkikuzimu So when the Bible uses the word form and void Iyo bibiri yikoresheje yari itagira ishusho yari ho busabusa It is giving a description of a earth which is desolate Ibigaragaza isi y'umusaka and in the biblical languages it is abusos nuko rero mu magambo asobanura bibiliya mu zindi ndimi havuga busos so this bottomless pit of revelation 20 nuko rero urwo burutagira intango rwo mu byahishu gice cya 20 is not really a deep pit somewhere ntabwo ari urwo nkuko twabitekereza it is this hell ahubwo ni yisi when it is covered with the darkness yuzuye ibuditse umwijima now now listen when Christ comes the second time igihe Yesu azabagarutse the righteous dead are resurrected abakiranutsi bazazurwa and the righteous living are caught up with them to meet the lord in the air abakiranutsi bazaba bariho bafatanye nabo gusanganira umwami mu kirere when Christ comes igihe Yesu azabagarutse every mountain imisozi yose and every island nibirwa byose is moved out of its place bizimukaho byari biri the wicked living maze abanyabyaha bazaba bariho and destroyed with the brightness of his Imburwe nubwiza bwa Yesu. They are consumed with the glory of his Christ return. Ubwiza bwa Kristo bubatsembe. And believers are destroyed. Nuko abatizeye barimburwe. The dead and believers stay in their graves. Abapfuye batizeye bahame mu mva zabo. So when Christ comes, Yesu nagaruka. The second time, ubwa kabiri, the earth is made desolate. Isi zaba ari umusaka. And it is like an abyss like. Izaba ari nk'umwobo ukuzimu. 
like it was before God spoke the earth into existence. When it was without form and it was So the bottomless pit. When you, when you read the bottomless pit, don't start imagining of a big, massive all somewhere. It is this earth when there is nobody living here. Because the good guys have gone <laughs> with their Lord and I will be one of them. The bad ones who died long time ago will not resurrect they will remain in their graves and those who will be evil when Jesus comes they will all die when they will see the brightness those ones nobody will bury them their bodies will remain on this it's a bad sight I don't want to be there that time. What are these chains that bind Satan for a thousand years? Does God come down and put handcuffs on Satan? What kind of chains are these? The, the Bible tells us very clearly, listen to this. This is a deep teaching tonight. I love it so much. It gives me a lot of comfort on my heart. Now listen. For if God, the Lord, did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness. Hey, hey. Cool. Oh, you people, you are. are you listening? Chains of darkness. You see, when you cannot see, you cannot move. When you cannot see, there is nothing you can do. That darkness becomes the chains that bound you. So the devil will remain on this half alone. So listen now here. So during the thousand years, Satan is bound or chained on earth. According to the scripture, with the chains of darkness. During the thousand years, Satan will be wandering around on a desolate earth with, with no one to tempt. He is chained along with his evil angels in the horrible darkness of his own evil deeds. So a chain of circumstances binds him. But during the thousand years, why doesn't Jesus come? and make this earth new. Why leave it desolate for 1,000 years? Now let me tell you something. God is God. God is sovereign. None of us has the permission to ask him questions. His wisdom is greater than our wisdom too.